key players from the agricultural biotechnology sector from Nigeria and international agencies are meeting to build a public-private partnership for food and nutrition security in Africa. Speakers after speakers bear their minds on the need for farmers to accept the newly introduced technology, demystifying beliefs about the hazards that this new technology may bring. Every state in the country um, has 32 farmers you know, uh, that has established demonstration plots on their fields. And aside from others who bought the seeds and are planting commercially. And then to develop effective agricultural extension support and services to accelerate the adoption of this crop. We are standing here as professionals uh, indeed, professional experts to tell Nigerians that their claims are not only wrong, but they are anti-progressive. They are also anti-nationalistic. And indeed, it, they are, it, it is hypocritical to the aspirations of the Nigerian people who need more food to feed her teeming population and alleviate the poverty of her numerous smallholder farmers. A farmer who is already taking steps to improve his yield in cowpea production assures of its potential, while an expert also seeks the acceptance at all levels. The new GMO innovation is a good one. It's a breakthrough for Nigerian, particularly Nigerian food security scheme. And it can assist farmers when there is intensive, continuous sensitization and mobilization of small older farmers at the local level. The conventional copy does not give you as much yield as this. This gives you know 20 percent increase in yield and then 37 percent reduction in pesticide use. So it's actually it, it, it's, um, it enhances food security. The federal government says food security is critical to the existence of a nation, and so the adoption of this improved technology may just be a step in the right direction towards achieving this feat.